Ladies and gentlemen, how are we all doing? Most likely, uh, most of you will see this on the recording. It's about uh, 2.30 or 3 o'clock here in New Zealand. And uh, just filling in a bit of time, actually, I've got a guy coming to fix my windscreen on my ute because it's cracked. Uh, so that's not very good. So he's coming out to fix my windscreen shortly. But So I thought I'd just pump out a, uh, <coughs> a video I've been off um, playing up or uh, having a few brews and, and with the boys down on the South Island for the last few days uh, for the big weekend which is the opening weekend of duck shooting for you uh, uh, animal lovers it's probably not your favourite thing but it's uh, where I come from down in Invercargill it's a huge event uh, where you catch up all with friends and uh, have a lot of beers, have a lot of uh, good yarns and uh, really enjoy uh, time uh, just chilling and, and relaxing and, and shooting a few ducks. So that's uh, what I've been doing for the last few days. But I uh, just wanted to get on here. I, after just spending time uh, down in Invercargill, spending time with family for a couple of days, um, I think uh, it, it's very humbling to to remember where you come from. Uh, and, and, you know, we've got to be grateful what we have in our life and who we have in our life. Um, and you know the, the materialistic stuff we have and you know we're very we're very blessed and lucky in New Zealand uh, and Australia and the US uh, and countries like that where um, we've got a whole lot of um, G'day Jeremy how are you mate um, we're very blessed to live in a country like this where we can have freedom where we can have freedom of choice where we can go out and live in the outdoors we can we're pretty we're pretty bloody lucky to live in a country like this and um, you know if you've still got your family around you count yourself lucky to have those people in your life because you know having uh, been down home for the last few days and seeing my dad and seeing some of his friends who are getting a little bit elderly and seeing some of the the, the people that have that have been a part of my life for a long period of time aging um, and realising that they're not always going to be there and making the most of those people because I think in a lot of t cases, especially when I was young, I took a lot of that stuff for granted. Uh, I didn't really value having time with those people. Um, and I think um, a lot of people just get so caught up and so busy doing what they're doing, they actually forget about what's really important because one day when we turn back and we look to um, see where those people were at, they're no longer there or if we, if, when we need someone to, to talk to, those people are no longer there. So really the, the motivation behind back on the bandwagon with the videos and, and uh, it just really start to, um, you know, really speak from the heart and, 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 you know, just value what I have in my life right now because it's easy when you're a, in a high pressure environment or you're chasing the, the almighty dollar and you're chasing materialistic rewards in life, it's easy to get caught up in that hype and forget about what's really important. Um, and I think, you know, most of us would be guilty of doing that at some time or another in our life. So I just wanted to get on here and, and, and really share, um, be grateful for who you have in your life, be grateful for who you are, be grateful for the person that looks back at you in the mirror because you're the one and only person on this earth and your success or your uh, life is up to you. If you want to get the results, it's up to you. You can't blame it on anyone else. It's entirely up to you. Value the people around you, value your friends, value your family. Be grateful for living in such an awesome country and really live your life to your full potential because that's what it's about. Um, you know, I know I've got a long way to go, a long way to improve as far as um, getting my mindset completely and utterly right, especially after having a bit of a bend with the boys for duck shooting. So you, you always feel a little bit tired or worse for wear after a weekend like that. But, you know, it's important to have that time out too and have that time away uh, with your friends. And, uh, yeah, I just, I just think um, so many of us get so caught up uh, doing what we're doing, business, jobs, sport, whatever, and we start to forget what's actually really important. And, and the most important thing that we have in our life is our health, um, is our family, is our friend, our relationship. So that's what it's all about, people. So I hope you're all having an absolute cracker. Cameron Stewart calling in here from the beautiful Waikato. It's a nice overcast but warm day. It's a bit warmer than the deep south. I think it's about probably 18, 19 degrees up here. And uh, just thought I'd shout out. <coughs> hope you're all having an absolute cracker. And we'll see you again next time. Cheers.